Hello! So we were just going through the comments and talking to you guys about the Buenos Aires video. Your stories are really powerful. Man, yeah, thank you guys so much for your comments. It really means the world to us to read all your, all your thoughts about the videos and all your similar experiences. Really humbling to have that connection to you all, so. Mm -hmm. But in regards to that video, we were so tired and we didn't really you know, we weren't feeling it 100% because we didn't really have any good campsites. So here in Rio de Janeiro, we thought we're just going to completely keep that out of the thought and we're just going to get a really good campsite no matter how much it costs so that we wake up every morning and we're excited to explore the city and also we're never afraid of the van getting broken into or something like that this is like the only spot i found where we can be in like a nice gated area so the pets can go out without having to be on a leash and like cars zipping by yeah which really makes it a lot quieter and easy for us to sleep as well It's good for us, good for the pets. <laughs> and then just a crazy plus that the doggy daycare we found was right below this place, maybe a three minute walk away. Because going to the big city with a van's kind of hard, you know, especially with pets, because if you want to go up to, you know, Cristo Redentor, or uh, today we got a pretty big site we're going to check out called Sugarloaf Mountain. There's a couple cable cars up, but you can't take a dog there, you know? So it's really great that we found this little doggy daycare while we were just walking around the neighborhood here. Here. This campground is, it's not like super fancy, you know, but it's definitely doing the trick. I love that we're on the edge of the kind of green space. So mm -hmm. right up above us is that rock we climbed last episode, the Pedra de Gavea, right up here. <laughs> Amazing. And, you know, so we're getting monkeys coming in here, but of course we have showers down there and that nice uh, viney building down there. and. You know, they did have a party the other day because it's an event center and that was a bit loud, but it was fine. We we're He did tell us that it was only going to go till nine, <laughs> <laughs> but, but once we heard the music calming down at midnight, we were like, this is fine. But it's a pretty good spot here. This is called Fritz uh, House. He's charging uh, pretty steep though, which is so expensive. 80, 80 a night, which, you know, 80 local currency, reals, that translates in dollars to 17 bucks a night. But it's better than paying for an Airbnb and a parking spot somewhere else. We just can't not be able to have the pets outside, not be able to sleep for days on end, and you have to start with the basics. Yeah. And once you have one layer that of things are going well, like I had a good night's sleep last night, then you have another layer of this is gonna be a good day, things like that. <laughs> yeah, that's but if true. you if you start Shower. Yeah. <laughs> if you start with I didn't sleep last night, I'm dirty. <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's loud. Someone just looked at me funny. <laughs> You're not going to have... That's yeah. the way to have a bad time. So we're here. We're doing it. We're having fun. And we're starting with a good layer. We had a good night's sleep. We're both very clean after that crazy hike yesterday. And... We're going to be heading out now to drop some breeze off. Yeah, go out and about Rio de Janeiro van style. And even more stairs. <laughs> That's six. Now we got the pup dropped off. We're gonna head into our Uber. Oh, so good that Sombrita was happy to be there. She was just wagging her tail. It didn't even look back at us. And now this Uber should be about a 40 minute ride for $8 over to the Sugarloaf Gondola. Oh, you 
can see here the whole thing. So we just walk in here, buy the ticket. First step takes you to there. Second step from there to there. There's the Cristo and the rock we climbed yesterday. Yeah, they got quite the clientele up here. Oh my gosh, you can see in the distance that rock we climbed up yesterday. That one right there. What? Is that the one? Yeah, yeah, that's the rock. Are those pretzels or something? No, they're like the sweet uh, peanuts. Hola. 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 Is it good? Some Rodrigo's. You have it. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, one shot. The two best views we had so far. The Cristo Redentor up there and the Rock of Gavea. What a city. This landscape. It's insane. And there's that forest all behind that. They got this forest over here, huh? Venomous snakes on this little island. Oh. You see one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire pets? <Don't. laughs> no, they're good, they're good. Oh, we can have our own chill spot. Oh, it keeps going too. This is a really cool little area they got. Yeah. Should we keep going or I'm afraid of walking up too many steps today. <laughs> to check out this little skate park while we're in the area here. This is called Bol Rio Sul. Pretty sweet. It's just more for skating because of the coping, but it'd still be good. Yeah, it's pretty deep. The shallow end's probably two meters. Deep's probably three. Epic, epic. Kind of cool to see. Oh man, you guys, here we are finally at one of Rio's beaches. This is <laughs> Copacabana, famous Copacabana Beach. Which reminds me when we're in Bolivia, there's a Copacabana. Oh my god. Everybody thought we were in Brazil all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, we just left Peru. We're in Copacabana, Bolivia. But this is Copacabana, Brazil. And it's beautiful. And it's five a seat over here. Five real a seat, so a dollar a seat. And then these coconuts we got here are two. You want to try yours? Mmm. <laughs> I love a good coconut. Yeah, it's like super, super healthy too. So. I don't need this thing though. We'll be chilling here. We'll catch you later. I think it has a Michelin star. No way. Really? Yeah, it's like a French yeah. resto. Gonna be good. I'm excited for it. So I hopped in another Uber. It'd be eight bucks back to go pick up the dog and check out a little sights from the cab on the way back. <laughs> oh, it's been so convenient just having this doggy dick get right down the block from our place. Oh, let's get the dog. She's gonna be stoked, huh? Yeah. It's probably her last time here, so. Oh, gonna... yeah. Yeah, that's true. Sombrita! Vamos a un paseo, Sombrita. Oh my god! 
god, are you on? Oh my oh. god! Oh. Oh. I left the camera in the Uber! Oh, okay. he said the passenger, the next passenger gave it back to him. Oh, oh. my god. And, and Uber, I have a Brazilian phone number, I have an American phone number. Oh, when can you come, I'll say to him. Because now we can translate, now that we're talking on WhatsApp. <laughs> I, it was like so hard to to understand. He was saying things, and I'm like, I was, I'm was. i pretty sure he has a camera. When you but, ask people in Brazilian, in Portuguese, if they, if they do something, they say, I do that thing. They don't say yes back. So you're like, yeah. Okay, okay. Here, wait, wait. Let's see. Let's see what he says. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay. Copy. But I mean, the most important part is we're getting it back. You know what I mean? If that wasn't so far away, I wouldn't even charge you. Oh. Okay. Or that or sounds good. I'll give you 100 real for sure. Let's copy. The only thing is I'm a little worried now that we're gonna miss our dinner reservation with our friend. I was gonna shower. At this point, I think I'll just wash my face and call uh, it good. Yeah. But, yeah. oh babe. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, and it was my fault, but honestly, I was balancing two phones trying to Google okay, Translate in because, a moving car on the freeway. Because I was trying to up my collateral and I put money on it, but I found out you have to do these extra steps. Okay, I'm on my way to the location. I'm just gonna take a little while because of the traffic jam. Oh, I'm gonna say, Thank you so very much. You are the best. And to say that in Portuguese. Muito obrigado. Você é o melhor. It was my fault. It was really my fault because we were taking the Uber back to pick up Sombrita and I thought last second, we're going by the grocery. Let's go there because we needed to, to get some dish soap. Like, so last second, I, I changed the plan of where we were going to get out. And then we got out kind of quickly, which I'm usually pretty good about checking. I think I even did check, just like I probably didn't look it exactly fell on where the I was. Ground. We were standing outside of Sombrita's daycare, and Danny was like, Where's the camera? And I was like, Emily thought, Oh, we have it, don't worry. But I was like, No, I'm pretty sure I messed up. I can't believe it because Uber has this method where you go back to the last trip and you say, You know, you have an issue or whatever. And so Uber calls you and they say, Press one to connect. And then they try to call the Uber driver for you. What's he saying now? Hopefully it's a good thing. Oh, okay, it's just the ETA. Yeah, 37 see this? minutes. Marina de. No, we're gonna be, we're gonna be right on time or like 10 minutes late, which I hear in Brazil, that's like normal. I wonder if we could have said like we can meet you in town well i think what's more what's worth more money is the clips <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because because this camera went on the hike yesterday yeah and you guys have already seen that footage at this point <laughs> i hope so not, we would have not yeah i hope so i hope, oh I hope you guys got to see that <laughs> emily was so great about it because honestly it was my fault and you never said like anything mean to me yeah. when things are hard is when you show who you truly are sometimes yeah you know? and, and emily was so great <laughs> yeah oh my gosh there was just one time when you were really freaking out and i was like i'm sorry i just don't want to make you feel better yeah <laughs> you're like, just not mm, what was your fault so i don't I feel like making you feel better. I was like, <laughs> I was like, you're right. I'm sorry. Emily. <laughs> I was thinking if it was a cab driver, that is gone. Mm -hmm. 100%. If it's a if it's a tuk tuk, that's gone. Yeah, because there's no way to get in touch with that cab driver ever again. But Uber has such advantages to us as travelers because we don't speak Portuguese. We don't have to haggle the price. We don't have to figure out how to tell them where we're going. That's some unrelated notification. I hate these unrelated notifications. <laughs> right Danny's about to unsubscribe to everything. When you buy a SIM card in another country, they take that as their right to send you a ton of spam texts. That's what that just was. I've gotten probably five messages from my SIM carrier today. And, you know, Tim is, is working good. It's, it's Tim. <laughs> Tim. It's, they say Shim. But Emily has Claro again. And Claro, we were having a debacle in the way here. That's why we were, that's why I kind of forgot about that. It, everything is always Claro's fault. <laughs> Every, whenever the world ends is because of Claro. Mm. Claro did it.
Wow, but the cockroaches will live on and they will become sentient one day. So. No, I'm pretty sure cockroaches are the ones that own Claro, right? <laughs> Gosh, yeah, because Emily re-upped her plan, 30 real, and then Claro didn't like automatically apply it. So she had to like figure out all this stuff, it's in another language, I'm using my phone to take a picture of it, Google Translate what Claro was telling her. And somewhere in the mix, you know, the, in addition to, oh wait, let's get out here instead. Anyways, uh, we'll, we'll let you know if we get this from the Uber driver here, but but uh, the cat took a poop, so we're gonna have to go do the litter. <laughs> so we'll see you guys later. Oh my God, you guys, the Uber says he's here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe we got it back. <laughs> and the guy is so nice, he's taking us to the restaurant too. <laughs> I'm just paying him cash for this one. <laughs> a very fair rate. Oh, looks good, Emily. <laughs> Dude, glad you were able to meet up. Yeah, I'm too. Time trouble. Ooh, we got our last showers. Time to head out of this paid spot. Pretty excited. Tranquila, sombrita. Muy buena. We are waking up here at the campground for the last time. We're going to be heading out today. Danny's going down to pay right now. We just got our last shower and we'll be heading out. We're going to be traveling in Rio with the van like we normally do, just like staying in free spots just for tonight and maybe tomorrow. Uh, meet up with some friends and Danny wants to check out the skate park. We're not able to check out the skate parks from this spot because it's on a crazy hill and I'm a little intimidated to ride the bikes down a crazy down a crazy hill especially because I love bringing some Brita on bike rides and there's not really any sidewalks or anything like that so it just seems too dangerous for to ride bikes on and walking the bikes down 10 flights of stairs sounds terrible so we're going to take the van over to a spot that we that that's on i overlander and then we'll take the bikes out from there or at least danny's bike i'm not sure if i'm gonna ride my bike yet so Brita's definitely gonna be able to run around it feels good to be heading out and about in the van again we spent a little bit more time than we thought we would have in rio but it's honestly been really really nice and i'm glad that we feel fulfilled on our, in every Everything that we've done here. I highly recommend it to anyone that's just trying to go to warm South America but also wants to see some nature. It would be even better if it had a ski mountain but with the jungle hikes and then beach and just beautiful city with amazing food I 100% would spend a lot more time here. Let's get the van out of this spot and start wandering around. Hi, monkeys. There's our first free parking spot here in the big city. I like this one. I just wanted it all over. Just clean these guys. Shiny. <laughs> Ooh, after cleaning off the solar panels, we're getting 90 watts straight into the bats. Sombrita, you want to check out the skate park? Huh? Let's do it, huh? This spot's actually on iOverlander here, right at the skate park. There's a security guard right there. And the homies from the last spot, the Ecuadorians, are parked up here. They say they know these Brazilian folks. So this is a pretty good spot, but this skate park is huge. Check this out. Dang, so this is just like the roll-in for the street section up here. Oh, dude, there's a guy skating. Let's check it out. Hope he likes BMXers. Oh yeah, I saw this part. They had like a competition here. They had it all set up. Oh, that's pretty interesting right there. The flow looks nice here. Okay, so this part here looks like the bowl. 
Yeah, this is kind of more my thing, you know, the bull. Oh, this is where it's at right here. Homie's playing some Metallica or some rock at least. Look at this gem. Oh my God, I'm stoked. Gotta go grab the bike. skate park and here's the beach. Let's get a coconut. Oh, the coconuts have arrived. can never find the right food for Graham because he's like gluten free. He starts scratching his head when he gets... This place seems like the right spot to get it, huh? Yeah, it's huge. It's called American Pet. Whoa, they got some good litter. Wow, so you got your phone? We're gonna have to be Google translating these ingredients, huh? Sombrita, what do you like in here, huh? Show us around the pet store. What Sombrita. do you like? You like the beds. Oh, Graham would love this. She says one day Sombrita will have a house with these kind of things. <laughs> She hasn't had a bone in a while. Yeah. Like oh, a new yeah. bone. Like a real one, not the rawhide. She doesn't like this. What's it Going all out here. Got Graham. The real reason was Graham has the gluten-free food. Can't find these anywhere. Yeah, so for some reason you can't buy dog bags. We got these for Graham. Were you going to get those dentist stickies? Yeah, dentist sticks and a bone or a toy. Tu quieres pollo, arroz, o quieres salmón? What do you think about this one? Mm, I think she likes it. You like it more than the last one? I don't think you liked the last one very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess she wants us to get a bird because she's no sniffing the bird <laughs> seed over here. Only the best food for little Grammy. <laughs> mm. You like a fish? You want a little fish? <laughs> you licked it. We are heading out of Rio de Janeiro on the hottest day that we've been here so far, right? Yeah, what? Okay, so it's 78, but there's no clouds in the sky and there's no breeze. So really it's like 110. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we're heading out of Rio de Janeiro and honestly, I love it here. <gasps> I really think that if you're looking to go on a vacation, to a place and you have limited time but you want to see a city nature and a beach just go to Rio we're moving on we're heading south once again after months of going north so this mm. is it's pretty it's a pretty big day today I'm used to going south this feels good yeah it feels good <laughs> going south once we turned the van this way I was like I feel good about this but this is like a big turning point for us it's kind of bittersweet because now we're like all right let's get to Montevideo of course we're gonna go very slowly and yeah. as slow as we can and our friends the Brazilian road lifers put a million pins in this area and we got their map so we're gonna check out some beautiful natural stuff 
if you want some Pan American inspo, definitely head over to Road Lifers. They've got it figured out. They are researching every day what to do, and they're in a van similar to ours, and they've got some really beautiful places that they've been to. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know what you think about Rio de Janeiro in the comments. If you want to support our wonders a little bit more, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you next time. Ciao! Ciao, ciao!